German state bans burkas and niqabs in schools. The government of the Western German state of Baden Wurttemberg agreed on Tuesday to ban full face coverings, often known as burqa or niqab, in schools, matching a ban already in effect for teachers. State Premier Winfred Kreischmann uh, conceded that cases of full face veiling in schools were rare, but that a legal ruling was necessary for those rare cases. He added that such a ban at the university level where students are adults was more, was a more complex question. For now, the rule in Banden Wuttenberg will only apply to primary and secondary education. Green Party leaders have previously referred to the burqa and niqab as, quote, symbols of oppression. Opponents say that such rulings can lead to marginalization of Muslim communities in Germany. Well, I have a lot to say about this. Well, before before we get to this, are you guys in some do you guys like this? Yay or nay? I support it. Okay, Susanna. I do not support the ban. Chopin. Considering the ban is just for school girls, I support it because it's not being forced on adult women. Okay, okay. Rivka, you wanted to say some stuff. Um, oh, sorry, well, maybe the dog's I, barking. Okay, maybe uh, Susanna, why? Uh, let's go with Susanna and the dog's barking. Well, I, wait, Armin, I want to know if you are for or against because we went around the table. Um, I am for it. Yes, for it. Okay. okay but what, you seem to be the only person that is against it. So explain yourself. <laughs> so, um,. Let me just say I am anti-Nikob, I'm anti-hijab in general. Um, however, this is a point that I believe I saw Zara K make on Twitter. And there are women and girls who, if hijab or niqab are banned, they will not be allowed to leave the house, right? That's the type of environment they live under. And so for those women, I want them to have access to this education, even if under the controlling environment and impressive environment of their families mandates that they have to make, remain covered in some way, some way. To me, I would rather them have that education, which will allow them further potential to escape that oppression than having them shut away from the world entirely, right? Um, in general, I'm completely against it, but this is the one situation and one contingency that I'm concerned about. And I'm thinking about those women who would not be allowed outside at all if they were not covered. Shabham. Yeah, so <clears throat> I considered this point when I was uh, reading the article, but then uh, I just, uh, I think someone told me like school, uh, school education is mandatory in Germany and homeschooling is not allowed. So it might as well be the police uh, dragging the children to the schools if the parents don't allow them outside. So it's basically you cannot opt out of school. So whether or not they ban it, they have to attend school, they will get the education. And since this is not being forced on adult women because they are free to make their own choices, so that's why I'm completely in support of it because, like, as I said, in Germany, schooling is mandatory and they have to go to school. So okay. there's no way they can risk off if, if her anti-Semitic dogs allow. <laughs> so um, a couple things. Um, yeah, I understand your point about being concerned about that. But I have a feeling that the kind of families that were would not allow probably aren't going to um, public school. They're probably going to Islamic school. In that case, they probably could. I don't know. But Shopam's point is valid that you can't homeschool. You have to go to school. So um, they're going to have to go or risk issue with the um, authorities. But I wanted to point out that there is a ban on niqab and face covering in many Islamic countries, Morocco being one of them that I know the most about. Um, in 2017, the Moroccan Minister of Education banned it from schools, and he said that the garment hinders communication, um, this is for the teachers and um, with the students, and um, it's um, not the first African, uh, North African 
country to ban this. This is for teachers, but also for um, young girls. And they also ban niqab in other high security places. So, um, but I support the ban for a couple reasons. One, um, as Shopam opined, that this is not stopping anyone from wearing it, even young girls, outside the home. They could wear it on the street, they could wear it in the park, they could wear it in the grocery store, they just can't wear it in school. Um, and I think that <clears throat> from my perspective, it, it really sexualizes children and um, it does, again, um, it hinder communication like the Moroccan um, Minister of Education said. And then also, I think a school is also a high security area and I don't want anyone pretending to be a child to gain access, a, a, a girl, a young girl with the niqab over her face to gain access to there, which they're not that anyone's done that so far, but there are documented incidences of people wearing niqab or burqa uh, in order to gain access to environments to perhaps commit atrocities. And then there's also access of people hiding behind a burqa and niqab after having committed atrocities. So there's a couple things about that. And then the other thing that I um, really want to point out about um, the not having a ban for women, you know, women can wear face coverings, but men mostly are not usually, it's not usually accepted for them. So if boys walked into school with their faces covered with a ski mask or bandanas, and I'm not talking COVID bandanas, you know, deliberately covering their faces with only their eyes showing. And particularly like you see this also in high security areas like banks, courthouses, airports, men are asked to remove those face coverings. Almost every place I've ever been, even dark glasses, even hats, I've seen the mask men too. It's sexist to have two different sets of rules, one for females and one for men. Um, so I, you know, that's another reason why I support it. And also I think that it's helpful maybe for these girls to have an environment where they can take that off if they live in an environment where they can't anywhere else. So I think that that's um, helpful. And I also had a very um, in interesting conversation with someone who was against the ban, but highly concerned about these young people. And I understand it comes from a place of concern, from compassion. And I think that's really important. But um, again, like we were talking about, it's only in schools. Um, I think the sexism issue about it is unfair in my opinion. And also, I think that um, when people, and this is how I think about it too, and you know, this is maybe on some legis some level attempting to legislate some sort of ethics, which I don't know if that's even possible. But I think that when people particularly insist that there's nothing wrong with um, people, young girls being forced to or coerced into wearing a face covering, which the person I was discussing this with on Facebook did, um, I'm just suggesting that it, it's, um, it's inherently, you know, really a problem because it insists that women are covering themselves not to raise the sexual urges of men by covering young girls, it sexualizes them. And this excessive modesty dogma the places on the community, you know, all the community's piety, their honor, their shame, their reputation on the behavior and the clothing of women. And I think that, you know, that in and of itself is very concerning. Also, it's misogynistic. And then it creates another issue for people who are insisting on this being okay and, and, and not wanting to call it out that somehow you're being cruel to these people people or you're calling out some immutable characteristic of who they are. This is a tenant of a ideology. It's not intrinsically who these people are. And I think when you think that way, you do the fundamentalists a favor because that's what they want. That's the narrative they are 
putting forward that the ideolo ideology is the people and the people are the, are the ideology and they're the same thing, but they're not. Okay. Okay. Well, Rivka took all my time. So I'll just quickly, qu quickly say that the, the only reason why I'm against it, the main reason why I'm against it is because this would not be tolerated if, they, if this was not a religion. In no other format, this would be tolerated. Okay, if no other format of people could come into a school and cover their faces and they would be they, they would accept this. So if this was allowed, this would be a form of religious privilege. And that's horseshit. Right. You can't have you can't have um, uh, some rules for other people and some rules for religious people because of their, um, you know, getting some authority from, you know, their sky daddy. That doesn't make any fucking sense. And um, even if we say like. Um, even if you say like, oh, well, they can't come. To, I mean, in this situation, we, you know, the parents cannot deny the girls uh, education because in Germany it's mandatory. But e even if it was a situation, we wouldn't tolerate that if it was in a form of religion. Like parents come and say like, oh, you have to, my children have to come with, I don't know, um, horns on their, you know, head. And if they, if you don't let them do that, I'm not going to send my kids to school and we're like well you know fuck you we're not just gonna like no you know it's just such a ridiculous like you're holding the kids hostage and you know it's kind of like you're negotiating with people that are using the children as leverage like oh they're not going to get any education unless you change the rules specifically for the way um my ideology demands it to be like if we are like if that if we give into that then it's not going to be like okay um that's enough like okay let me let me see what else i can get by holding children hostage <laughs> from education and and make more demands like okay we want another unreasonable demand that you that you don't give in to anybody else but we can get we could get that from you because with the same excuse of if you not give in to our demands then the children are not going to get the education like you could how far can you go with that excuse anyways i do want to read a few of the comments on um, you know, so somebody saying very good, well done, Germany. Jennifer had the same concern about I, I like she uh, she liked this, but then she was worried about the girls not getting education. But somebody rightfully pointed out that this is not a problem because there are this is enforceable uh, laws about attending schools in Germany. So I think people are discussing that. It's good. To, and, and another comment was time to protect children from their parents' traditions um okay good that's about it so let me just take this off and then news thank you for joining us subscribe to our channel hit the bell thingy if you haven't i don't know why what has what's holding you back okay if you haven't subscribed to our channel why haven't you subscribed to our channel explain that to us please like bell <laughs> and also if you if you're not getting notifications and stuff because youtube is not Telling people that we have shows because YouTube is like, oh, this person told us that they want to get your shows, right? They want to get your videos, but nah, you, we think is no. And oh, look, oh, they also hit the bell button, but nah, you guys are too controversial. We want to show them mainstream stuff. We want to show them CNN or cat videos or whatever. But even you know, people are like, no, we want to see Atheist Republic. And YouTube is like, no, we don't think you want this. They're like, no, please show it to us. We say to you, we want to see Atheist Republic. And YouTube is like, no, we think we know what's better for you than you yourself. So to solve that, link, there's a link in the description, uh, which is to our newsletter. So hopefully some of our, we could email it to you. So hopefully you get some of our content that way. Okay. So yeah, subscribe to our newsletter as well. And share, share our videos because... You know, we do get demonetized, that's an obvious, on every one of our videos, so F that, but we don't care about <laughs> that anymore. But we also get deprioritized, and that's even more damaging to us. Deprioritized, what does that mean? That means we're not, we don't show up on the suggested, you know, videos on the right, and all that, you know, on, the, on people's homepages, and that's how channels grow. Unfortunately, we can't grow, so we need you guys to share our videos.